Hello, this is Felix Dunn with Accelerated Biologics, and I'm going to go over the AB60 Pure Kit. It is M Sites Pure PRP 60 ml PRP processing kit. We open it up. Every kit you have will have your blood draw accessory, 19 gauge butterfly needle, all alcohol swabs you will need, filter needle. Processing devices. A sterile blue drape. It can be placed on your workspace. And a sequence of syringes. 60 ml. 3 ml. Another 60 ml. 30 ml. And your final syringe will be a 12 ml syringe. And there will be a 20 milliliter vial of sodium citrate anticoagulant. When we first get the kit, we'll take our 60 ml syringe, pop the top, use our filter needle. Attach it, we use a filter needle. When we get our anticoagulant, I like to pull back to 10 mLs so that I can inject the air to pull the anticoagulant through the filter needle. Inject my air, pressure. We'll fill the syringe quicker and with a little ease. So I'm going to pull back 10 cc's of anticoagulant. Uh, this is standard. You could experiment with a little less if you need to because the typical ratio is five parts whole blood to one part anticoagulant. And so we're going to draw about 50 mLs of blood and we have 10 mLs of anticoagulant. Next step, so I like to take about 2 mLs from my anticoagulant, and I'll show you what this step is for in a moment, but this is part of our pure processing technique so that we have the reduced leukocytes and neutrophils in our sample. Use our blood draw accessory, which will have your tourniquet, band-aid, gauze, and your necessary alcohol swabs, and a 19 gauge butterfly needle. Attach the butterfly needle to our 60 ml syringe, and I just like to prime it so I can have all the anticoagulant. I can see it go all the way through the tube, and it just pops up the tip. So at this point, we would now be ready to draw blood from the patient. Today's patient, red solo cup, always delivers, first stick. The pressure with the 60 ml syringe can be quite severe, so just want to keep a, a slow and steady pressure. The hardest part of the whole processing is just finding that vein and getting a good stick. Um, the 19 gauge butterfly with this 12 inch tube is the recommended uh, size and ease. This can be done with one person or two people, one holding the butterfly. You can tape down the butterfly if you wish. Um, once you find a good spot in the vein or once you know you're in, you can just leave it and pull back all of our blood. Move the needle, take any remaining blood Put it in, leave it in the syringe. Take your butterfly, put it into your sharps container. Once we've drawn our blood, we're ready to deposit it into our concentrating devices. And with this kit, it's a two spin kit. First device has the conical tube with the cone disc at the bottom. And 
alcohol swab. This is a self-sealing spring-loaded port. Press down, do about a full turn and the lure lock will have it locked in there. And deposit all of our anticoagulant blood into the sample. As you deposit the blood, the disc will rise. I like to do at midway point, pull back on the syringe. So I draw the aspirating cone down so it's completely into the blood. So I have all my air in the syringe and not in the device. Just so I get a nice clean push all the way in. First syringe is done. Before our processing, I'm going to clear the tube. So all of our blood is in the, in the concentrating device and none is left in the tube inside of the device. So just a quick one or two mLs and now we're ready to process. First spin is one and a half minutes, 3800 RPM. We'll counterbalance our blood sample with equal part canister of just regular tap water. As long as you're plus or minus five grams, we are good for a spin. Each gram is one ml. So if you're over or under a little bit, over or over seven, if you're over seven grams, take out seven grams of water, mLs of water. First spin, one and a half minutes, there at 800 RPM. Just press the button, it will start. The machine will go. Once the spin is complete, it has about a 90 second speed up time for its set spin, about a 90 second slowdown for its braking. And then once the spin is completely done and the rotors have stopped moving, the lid will automatically open. And our red blood cells, the platelet plasma suspension has been created. At this point, we just want to remove platelet plasma suspension with our next syringe in the sequence, the second 60 ml. And just as we pull up on the syringe, our aspirating disc will slowly advance into your aspirate. And we know that the tube is one ml in volume and the cone itself is just about two mLs. So when the bottom of my disc is touching the red blood cell interface, I know I have about three or four mLs to go before I want to pull up any more of my biologic. You could stop at this point to have the least amount of red blood cells in your sample. Or you can do a pull of that last three mLs till you get a splash or a flash of the red blood through the cone and then up into the uh, tube and you get a little flash into your sample. Very low amount of red blood cells, but still has some of the neutrophils that you might want during healing. We would take this, use another alcohol swab, and we're gonna place it into our second concentrating device. Press down. Now I like to turn both my left and right hand opposite directions for about a half or three quarter turn and that'll lock it on in. Place all of the biologic into the second concentrating accessory. And at this point, all of our platelets are suspended in the plasma. We haven't spun it long enough or fast enough to create a buffy coat. And that's what we're gonna do in our second spin for five minutes at the same RPM of 3800. Weigh my sample with equal parts water with your counterbalance. This one just happened to be minus 1.5 mLs, no problem, or grams. Place it down, lid will lock, turn my time to five minutes, press the start button, 90 seconds speed up, five minute spin at 3800 RPM, 
Once that's done, about a 90 second slowing until it's completely done, the lid will automatically open. And at that point, our plasma will have been stripped of all of its platelets. And all of the platelets in the cells will be a nice buffy coat along the bottom of this device. So at this point, you can remove as much or as little as this plasma that you want to get your final concentration amount. As you can see with the device, the tube does not go all the way down to the bottom. It's designed to start showing air bubbles right around 7 mLs, and that's your standard size for a, this 60 ml kit will be about a 7 ml sample. So right there I'm spart starting to pull up some air bubbles. There's also visual lines there so you can look exactly and, and see where you want to go. So this is about a 7 ml pure PRP sample. You can remove it down to 3 or 4 mLs to have a concentration factor of maybe 14 or 15 X. This is going to be on standard between six to eight X of baseline. If you wanted to have a slow, smaller four or five baseline, probably leave about nine, 10 mLs in your sample. At this point, we're going to resuspend the Buffy coat that's on the bottom of our device into our remaining plasma however many mLs we wanted to do. Remember the standards at about seven mLs, and that'll give you around six times concentration, over 80% cell viability. And I just try to do a swirling motion so it stays to about the bottom quarter of the device. Once your Buffy coat is completely removed from the bottom, Tilt it so it's tube side down and remove your Accelerator Biologics Pure PRP. And we're right there at about 7 mLs. This can stay at room temperature. One, two, three, four hours. You'll be fine. Um, if you don't do an immediate injection. There are sterile caps that come with the device. So just cap it off so there's no exposure to the air. Any more questions? You can call Accelerator Biologics 1-800-367-0844 or acceleratorbiologics.com.